Hey guys, we just got done riding the 2019 Husqvarna FS450. Now this is a closed course production supermoto race bike that you buy out of the box, you go to your local supermoto track, and you rip on. Uh, it's not street legal, it's only for riding on a closed course or racing. For 2019, Husqvarna is really, they've basically given the, the full upgrade to this bike. Everything that the 2019 uh, motocross 450 bike has from the headstock back this bike has plus uh, obviously 17 inch rear 16 5 inch front aluminum hoop and a big humongous front brake besides that it's like the same bike these bikes are just unbelievable if you're looking for a motorcycle that you can just literally put gas in and just rip on this is the bike uh, it comes out of the box bridgestone supermoto tires slipper clutch uh, the suspension's already modified for the rigors of Supermoto. It sits a little bit lower than a motocross bike, has about an inch less travel front and rear. And uh, yeah, you can go home and you can buy a used motorcycle, buy wheels, buy a slipper clutch, put a pipe on it, and do all these mods to it. But even putting all those mods into it, you're still not even close to what this bike is like out of the box. It's just unbelievable how well it works. The engine's gotta have dang near 60 horsepower. The slipper clutch is huge. You can just go into the corner without even having to use the clutch. You just downshift and let the clutch sort out everything. Removes any rear wheel stability. Just gives a lot more confidence in the chassis and just has you hooked up. Front brake, super powerful. I wish they would have used a little bit more aggressive front brake pad. Uh, the brake has plenty of power, but the bike's a little bit soft. It's almost like they use like a street bike pad in that thing. But besides that small gripe, this bike, there's really not a lot not to like about it. The suspension works really good. The, the rebound circuit itself is really sensitive. You add a click or two to those to that setting and you can really notice a difference in how the motorcycle responds when it hits a bump and how it goes back, rebounds from the stroke. It's quite amazing how good the suspension works. You know, air suspension, you know, has a it doesn't work so good on the dirt, but on the pavement, it works phenomenally. And uh, it's a good setting for, for that W2 ear for. But overall, if you're looking for a really, really high performance super moto bike that you can literally put gas in and just rip, this $10,700 FS450 is the bike. Uh, and if you want to get one, you better hurry to your local Husqvarna dealer because they're only importing 200, I think, motorcycles into the United States this year which is actually, I think, about 100 more than they imported last year for 2018. Uh, so yeah, it's expensive, but realistically, you're gonna get a lot of performance out of this bike. And in the long run, you're actually gonna spend less. It's gonna cost you probably a little bit more to modify uh, a, a production dirt bike, and you're not, still not even gonna get the level of this bike out of the box. Really nice bike from Husqvarna. Kudos to them for developing it and importing it into the USA. That's a wrap from the 2019 FS450 launch. If you wanna know more about this new Husqvarna bike, make sure to read our written review on MotorcyclistOnline.com. Subscribe, let me know if you like these videos. Ari and Zach are gone, but we're gonna keep holding on the fort for you guys and producing some nice videos. So leave us a comment, let us know if you like it or if you don't like it, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.